Okay, and we should be live. Let me switch to the full view. There we go. What's happening, everybody? Hey, guys. Hopefully this connects up and everything. Yeah, there we go. Starting your content. How's it going? I hope everybody's having a great Thursday night. We have got Palaces of, or The Palace of Mad King Ludwig, which is the sequel of sorts to Castles of Mad King Ludwig, and kind of fits a place in Ted Ausbach's uh, trilogy, the other one being Suburbia. And this is a pretty good game. We This will be, what, our second or third playthrough? Yeah, second. Yeah. yeah. Um, not Real really one. my style of game. Like, I, Castles, I, I appreciate that Castles of Mad King Ludwig was an excellent game. I didn't like it that much. She, on the other hand, really digs it, especially the whole art aspect of it. Really look up Ludwig of B it's Bavaria, right? Yeah. Look him up sometime. Look Ludwig up the second. Yeah, that's it. Ludwig the second. Look up his Wikipedia page. He was a uh, Mad King is a good descriptor for him. So, anyways, I'm going to get the chat fired up here, and then we can hop right into the game. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, we're looking good. So, again, if we're having any audio issues or anything like that, I can't hear our stream while we're playing because you get a hell of a lot of feedback that way. So let me know in the chat if you're having any issues whatsoever. But I think we're good to go. Um, basically, Mad King Ludwig is kind of like, it's a tile laying game, sort of in the theme of Carcassonne, but it's got some differences. Uh, we're, th these are the rooms, the tiles are basically rooms or hallways or stairs that we're going to be laying throughout the game and trying to complete certain rooms and certain features of the castle, much like uh, castles of Mad King Ludwig, to gain points in all sorts of various ways. There's like six different ways you can score points in this game, and it's a lot to keep track of. So rather than me go fully into it, I'm going to kind of explain some of the concepts as we're playing, because I'd like to get into the game and it's going to flow. This is probably going to be about an hour long stream, somewhere in there. It took us somewhere between an hour and an hour and a half to play a game. So, you know, grab you a drink, sit back and relax, and let's do it. Want to see who's going first? Yep. 13. Five. All right, cool. So, the first thing you do every turn is basically you have a couple of things you can choose from, and basically it's what tile are you taking this turn. Um, at the start of the game, you start preceded with a couple of hallways, and that's basically how you're going to be connecting to the other rooms in the game. Rooms can have a cost. They can cost a number of swans. As you see, these are a ton of swans up here. Those are like the currency in-game, and they're also worth points at in-game. It'll start making sense as we play. I suggest you just sit back, and I'll explain it as we go through. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the oratory room. Yeah. Actually, no, I lied. I'm going to take the small gallery. And I'm going to stick it right here onto this hallway. Now, I don't know how well you can see this on stream. I'll tell you what. I will... Sorry if we're having autofocus problems. It doesn't like the black table. If you can see on this, you'll notice that there are four swans in each of the corners. Uh, that really doesn't want to focus. But basically, you can make out the colors. If you can match a color, for instance, this is a green swan on this hallway, to another color, you get bonus points and bonus currency for it. So that's what I'm going for here. So I'm going to put this hall, or pardon me, the small gallery down. So the first thing you do when you put down a tile is claim it with one of your symbols. I'm going to have the music notations, yeah, the 16th notes, and you're going to have keys. So there we go. Next thing I'm going to do is update how many of those I've put down on my what's called the blueprints board. So that is a room type of what they call, I think, living rooms, which is a little fire symbol. I'm just going to put one right there. And now, because I connected a green room to a green entrance, or a green entrance to a green entrance, I get a green swan, which you will see why those are useful later. All right. Go ahead. Take your turn. Hopefully the autofocus. <clears throat> I will shut the autofocus off. Yeah. Man, it's really popping. Let me shut the autofocus off real quick. I was trying so we could show y'all some... Uh... What a bastard. Yeah, it's being a bitch. Go ahead, you can take your turn, no worries. All right. There we go, auto focus off. I want. Cool. The drawing room. The drawing room. 
So one of the cool aspects of this that makes it, like I've seen some people say, oh, this is just Carcassonne with some other things. No, it's really, we play a hell of a lot of Carcassonne. There are some major yeah. differences between this and Carcassonne. And you will see them as the game develops. So you choose the drawing room. You're going to put it down right there. Yeah, and screw you for starting on my side. Yeah, well, Get off yeah. my side. You'll see why sides matter in a minute. And um, you connected a green swan purple. to a green swan. Yeah. Yes, I got my green swan. Okay. I got my room tracker. Room put down. No modes yet. And now we just need to update the rooms. Okay, cool. My turn. The train room. Beautiful. We also have a number of what are called favors in the game. There are public and private favors. And basically those are in-game scoring opportunities. The four for this public ones anyways in this game are going to be represented here. And generally speaking, they give you points for having the most or the least of a certain type of room, a certain number of swans, you know, whatever. So we'll get into that again as we go through the game. All right. Looking at my options, I think I'm going to take the oratory room right here. Now, this one has a little gray swan right there. Again, autofocus is going to stop working, but... Sometimes on certain tiles you may have a gray swan. That's considered wild color. You can put it anywhere you want. You would take the oratory room. Yes, I would. Because I love to listen to myself talk. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to connect that. Whoop, pardon me. Oh, okay. I've done jacked up all the Oh, pads. what have you done? You ruined it. I ruined it. Okay. And that's going to update my music room status. Oh, wait. Why did I have one down on I should know. And what type of loot. room is that? The loot. The loot is on fire. And I'm going to get a blue swan for connecting a blue room to a wild colored room. Farmers still mess you up on Carcassonne. Yeah, man, farmers are the hardest thing to wrap your head around when you're new to Carcassonne. Like I said, we've played, Carcassonne was one of the first board games we ever got when we got into the designer thing. Yeah. And, and we have turned it into a very mean game, and our farmers are basically like fucking mafia hitmen at this point. <laughs> like, there's some shady shit going on. I prefer to think of fence. mine as one of the hippies laying down in front of the <laughs> the tractor, uh, yeah, like coming all, to take the, the trees. Putting the fire at the end of the uh, Lee Enfield rifle. <laughs> all right, I'm taking the kitchen. Cool. Because. I can't afford anything yeah, over there that yeah, far. Exactly. Yeah. You have to pay to get those. So it's kind of a small world thing if you've played that. Mm -hmm. There are ways to reduce races. that cost, and we'll get into that in a minute. All right, so I'm going to put that one there. Cool. And put my key, and I get a yellow swan. Yeah, don't forget to update your blueprints. Why are you so far away, swans? I know. Yeah, the one issue with this game is it. This is the game board, and you'll see why in a minute once we get to the moat laying phase, which is, yeah, I don't gets know, you'll bigger. see. Yeah, it gets bigger. So in some ways you need a bit, you don't need the biggest table ever. We've played it on our downstairs table, which is about half the size of this one, but it, you need to be able to set the game up in a certain specific way, and you'll see as the game develops. You're not entirely sure which way that's going to go. <laughs> yeah, for real, exactly. That's the trouble. Exactly. All right, so you're good, right? I'm good. Okay, let's update oh, the rooms. That's helpful. Cool. Zikrit. Okay, so it's my turn. Yeah. I'm going to take the bottomless pit, but rather than placing it, this, uh, if you notice, these are the gray tiles. Those are considered downstairs rooms, and they need to connect to a stairs tile, which you'll see at some point. However, one cool thing you can do on your turn is take one of the tiles and slot it into your blueprints board. If you'll notice, there are a number of slots on the blueprints board. You can put a tile in like that or like that. If it's a room tile you've taken and you just flip it over, you can put it in diagonally and that will activate a certain ability. There are six abilities. Some give you extra points at end game. Some make certain things cheaper, as I'll explain in a minute. You can also take favors by buying them or using them from, uh, or I mean getting them as a bonus from completing rooms, which you'll see in a minute. Those go in like this. And when they go in like that, that locks out that bonus. For instance, if I were to put this here, the bonus in this slot is 10 points in in-game. If I put a favor there, that prevents me from getting it. If I put a room there, then it gives me the bonus in in-game. 
However, I've got this favor. You start the game with a choice of one of three favors, basically. Don't you have to pay if you're going to put it in the board? Um. Yes, you're right. You do. It is three, isn't it? Yeah, because I was thinking that it was off of... You're right. I do need to pay, and I don't have enough to pay right now. Yeah, so, sorry. Thank you for catching me on that. Yeah, there is no a tile that gives you that as a completion bonus, and that's what I was thinking of. But normally, if you wanted to do it without that completion bonus, it costs you three swans. I've only got one at this point, so we're not getting there yet. Insufficient swans. <laughs> Precisely. Declined. Declined. Okay, well, in that case... Let's see. Yeah, can't afford that either yet. Hey, what's happening, Bulldozer? How you doing, man? It's good to hear from you. Hey. Cool. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just going to take some stairs and stick <laughs> them right there. Boink. And that gives me one of these stairs tiles, too. You'll see why those are important in a minute. All right, I'm good. All right. I'm going to take the violin room. OK, so it's going to cost you a swan. Oh, you're right. Still want to do it? Yeah. All right, cool. Over there. OK. Put that there. Go ahead and update your loops. Do my. Okay, and then you're going to get a red tile because you connected gray to red. Okay, and now most importantly, Rachel has connected all the entrances off this room. There's one right there and one right there. She has naturally, as it were, connected all the entrances, not blocked any off. When you connect all the entrances of a room to another feature, you complete that room. So a couple of things happen when you complete a room. First thing you do, you're going to flip your little thing over to claim the room. Excellent. Different room types offer you different rewards depending on, well, when you complete them, they offer you different rewards. A kitchen, being one of the food rooms, offers you the choice of one of three. You draw three tiles from the top of the favor stack, and you may keep you. one, put the other two back. You don't have to keep them if you don't want to. Keep in mind that if you keep a favor and you lock it into your board, that's going to give you the choice. You have, you have a bit of a prisoner's dilemma there where you're going to lock out one of the bonuses at end game and, you know, may lose out some points or something like that. So it's a bit of a trade-off. Yeah. And I don't like any of these enough right. to block off my bonuses. I feel you. All, All right. right. Cool. Excellent. I'll take the rooms. Royal bodyguard <clears throat> room. Cool, cool. All right. In this case, I am going to take the Venus Grotto. And I'm oh, connect, my. Oh, my. Connect that to those stairs. So as you see, the stairs... Oh, wait. I should actually technically be this way. The stairs allow you to place downstairs rooms. Downstairs rooms, being the gray color tiles, cannot be placed unless they're connected on the downside of a stair set. So what this does in this case is completes the stair room for me. Now this is one that gives you a bonus at end game. I'm going to get three points for every stairs that I place in this entire game from that tile. It's the downstairs rooms. Oh yeah, three points However from every many. connected downstairs room. Pardon yeah. me. Yeah, that's it. I've only, it's been a minute since I did the scoring on this. Yeah, we're but, still new yeah, to this one a little bit. Like so. I said, this is like our, we played like half a game and then we had to stop because some stuff happened and then we played a full game last night. So this is basically our third game. And this is a game that takes a little bit of time to learn. Not particularly complicated, but there's a lot going on. Yeah. And we're not going to play Smoke yet, so you can update them. Okay. All right. You're up. Oh, put your doodad on that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That's one thing I always forget to do. And that's also going to update my downstairs room. So one of the cool things about the blueprint board, while you're taking your turn, I'm just going to shoot the shit about the game a little bit, 
is you'll notice that these are going to go up as you complete more rooms. And if you are able to complete, like for instance, you not complete, but pardon me, place, that's an important distinction. Every time you place a room, it updates. And if you're able to place, like for instance, three of a type of ball room, that's going to give you a huge bonus at end game. So there's a lot of different ways that you can try to score points in this game while being surreptitious about it. You know, there's so many that are going on that your opponents aren't gonna be able to see every bit of your plans. And then keep in mind, you're also gonna have the private favors and who knows which public favor you're going for. It's a lot of scoring opportunities. And here's how to be annoying oh, great. without being surreptitious. <laughs> I'm taking the stairs All right. and I'm placing them there which blocks off his entrance, which means he can't complete that room. Precisely. <laughs> she has blocked off the bottom entrance to, what is it, the oratory room? So I will never get a chance to complete that, unfortunately. And you're a dick. Yes, I am. And that completes the drawing room. Yes, it does. So for that one, I get swans for each one that matches. Yeah. So I get a green and a yellow. It, correct, yeah. Cool. Just making sure. Mm -hmm. Did you... And you updated your stairs? I did not. Thank cool. you. One thing I should mention, probably should have mentioned this. Like I said before, this isn't really my type of the game. Uh, Rachel really digs this sort of thing. Yeah. You know, these sort of Euro-ish kind of tile land things. So I I predict you're going to beat me so bad I'm going to wish we had signed a prenup. But uh, <laughs> I want all this once. <laughs> <laughs> but I, either way, I've enjoyed the game, even if I lose horribly at it. You kicked my ass last night. Yes, I did. That right, was fun. Cool. So it was a valiant effort. I'm gonna Probably. grab the bottomless pit and put it right there. So that's gonna update my downstairs room. Need to claim that sucker. That's also gonna finish the Venus Grotto, which gets me what is called downstairs room when they're completed. Gets you a secret swan, secret a black swan. swan. So this one has a color on the back of it. And at end game, you can get points for collecting color sets as well as certain goals. Make it like, for instance, this goal right here gives you the most for having the most purple swans. This goal gives you the most for having the least black swans. So yeah, probably not the best idea for me to take a black swan, but I'm going to be able to offset it. And who knows what's going to happen with Rachel's plans? So we'll see. Go Rachel. Yeah, she doesn't need any help, guys. Come on now. Yeah, thank <laughs> <on>. you, thank <laughs> you. Don't listen to him. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate you. No okay. problem. I can reach it better. Yeah. The laundry room. The laundry room. The most exciting of rooms. I liked the fungus room, personally. <laughs> I liked the panic room connected to the cheese room. <laughs> there might have been a cheese emergency. It's happening again. <laughs> Mr. Anderson. All right, um, and before you do something terrible, I'm gonna pay a swan to get the crypt. All right, cool. And I really want, I want that power. Um, I'm gonna put it there. Beautiful. Put it there. Do my downstairs room. That finishes my stairs. Correct. All right. You good? I am good. All right, let's update them. I got it. Thank you. A well. A well indeed. Maybe Timmy has it. <laughs> Poor Timmy. Poor Timmy. All right. Well, I think that I probably, yeah, I'm going to take the train room. I'm actually going to place it right there. So that starts that. That's going to get me a yellow swan because I connected a yellow entrance to a gray entrance. And then just need to update my rooms. I think I'm good. Yeah. Go for it, babe. You've gone too far. I have. I've been shifting things all over the place. The storage room. The royal storage room. <coughs> all right, I would like very much to not have to pay this time. You will notice throughout the game, especially as we get towards the end game, occasionally you'll place a room and complete your opponent's room, giving them points. Uh, there's a real, again, this is a game of choosing your consequences wisely. You're not going to be able to accomplish every goal you're looking for, and occasionally you're going to need to look for ways to screw your opponent, as it were, out of their goals, even if it doesn't give you something. 
kind of like Twilight Struggle. <laughs> you don't win Twilight Struggle, you just don't lose. Uh -uh. Right. I'm going to put the fencing room okay. over here Beautiful. so that the violinists can fence with their bows. Nice. Oops. I don't own it yet. Okay, so there's that. I get a green swan. And nothing's completed. Update loop. Cool. All right. I actually remembered all the things to do that time. Beautiful. So proud of myself. So on my turn, I'm actually going to spend three swans to buy a room tile and be able to place it into my board. And I can buy any of them that I want. I would still have to pay the extra cost. But looking at this, I'm going to buy the ballroom. Now, so what I'm going to do is place this room tile into this first slot. And the benefit of that first slot is it makes all my swan purchases for room tiles cost one less. So I basically opened up these two additional tiles for free now. They will not cost me a swan to buy. Which is annoying. Alright, cool. Holy shit, sometimes people slice off fingers with their bows. Do they really? You used to play cello, right? Viola. Viola, that's it. Have you ever heard of somebody slicing off their No, finger? how do you... That's... No. <laughs> Just no. I refuse. I, that, I Poke mean, eyes out. Hurt the person in front of you. Gruesome fascination makes me want to see that happen. Like, not to I know, I, there, I would believe like, it maybe if there yeah, was a video. Maybe. Yeah, for real. But I've um, seen yeah. what you people do in After Effects, so, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Even that is questionable. Um, what do I want? I'm going to take the laundry room. You got it. So I can wash my swans. All right. I don't own that. I'll never own that. I'm going to put it there. Okay. So I get a purple swan. Correct. Purple swan. For the key. That is the first the utility animals. room yeah, I've got. Right. You good? And that actually finishes that room. Yes, it does. Yeah, utility rooms finish instantly. So now I get three points of purple swan at the at end. end game. Yeah. Which is how I won last game. Honestly. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Hold on, my mic cable is. Okay. Not yet. There's one more. Oh, my bad. Oh, shit. It's the last okay. one. Okay, so here's where the real fun part of this game comes in. As you notice, we just uncovered a spot right there, and you'll notice it has a little water symbol on it. Those are the moats in the game, and that's what these tiles are. So now whenever we complete a room, we're going to place a moat tile down. And what moats essentially do, you have to place them in a certain order. I'm just going to grab hmm. some real quick. Does that kind of Just to flood? demonstrate. Yeah, for real. So the moat basically puts the border for the board into place. You can't build on the outside of the moat. And it's going to be, it starts, as you notice, connected to this water here. And it's going to envelop the board. We can put it on either side when we complete a rim and choose it. And it becomes a highly offensive point of contention. contention. Yeah, I think that's the <laughs> for it, for real, for real. You will see why shortly. But no moat yet. No room has been completed. You only place moats when you complete a room. All right, so it's my turn. Beautiful. Well, in that case, I'm going to take the hole. Get in your hole! And I'm going to place it right there. I'm building a whole basement, man. So first things first, own it. Update my status. So that's going to be my third downstairs room placed, which gets me a bonus of a gray swan, which means a swan of my choice. I'm just going to, whatever, take blue. It also completes this room, giving me a black swan. And now I've got to place a moat. So as these uncover, you will place additional moats per completed room. But for right now, it's only so the moat does a number of things, basically blocking off certain areas. It's 
and it's kind of hard to explain without spending 10 minutes on it. So let me just start by placing a moat, and I think you'll get the concept as we go on. You've got to start connected to the main castle moat. Which what is are you doing, man? I'm putting it right there. Why are you hating? I'm not going to block my own room. That's off. not where you should put that. Yes, it is. No, no, it's far better on the other side. Yeah, where it blocks off my rooms? Yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> All right, and now we... That's what's good about it. Up right there. You are up. All right. I'm going to take the well. And I'm going to put it there. My thing, update my room. Then it finishes the crypt. Correct. So I, oh, and I get a gray, I get a wild swan. Mm -hmm. And a black swan. And I want you. Cool. And a black secret swan. The secret is the swan's gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if that was a spoiler alert. I apologize. I shouldn't have done that. Um, okay. We good? We're good. All right. <sighs> Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, I know there's a favor for most black swans is a bad idea, but <laughs> I'm going to have fun building my downstairs. I can offset it. So screw it. I'm going to take the wine cellar. <laughs> <laughs> Basement I'm dweller, going, are you going to grow a neck beard too? For real, I'm going off on my own tangent here. That's the best way for me to play these games. I wonder why I lose at them, but <laughs> I have fun. And if you're having fun, don't you win after all? It's like in Tetris when <laughs> yeah. you fuck it up so bad, you're you just like, I'm making pictures penises. now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, so that's going to complete the hole. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> Having built the glory hole. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, that updates that because I placed one, two, three, four. Cool. I'm good there. All right. And update the rooms. Oh, wait. That means I completed one, so I need to place a moat. Oh, yeah. What am I thinking? Mm -mm. Did I miss a moat? Did you complete a room? Last yeah, time? that one. Then, yes, you missed a moat. I did miss a moat. So... Where would you have put it? Because then yeah, that there. would change. Okay. Yeah, blocking my room. Yeah. Okay. I mean, obviously. Yeah. So, then we'll put one there. Okay, right. thank you. At least we caught it. So sorry. Yeah. Okay, so now me. I had a friend in high school and early college that one time he was going to school he was going to college and he had to, it was like taking a final or some shit it was an important day in the class is really the point point. and he walks up to the school building and standing outside of the two double doors by all means take your turn as I tell my stupid little story <laughs> but swans just happened to remind me so as he goes to the double doors entering where his lecture hall or wherever he's going to take the test is, there's this big swan just sitting there chilling right in front of the doors blocking him. And he walks up and he goes to open the door and the swan honks at him. And he says, well, what the fuck, swan? I've got to get in here and do my thing. So he tries to go around the swan and the swan attacks him. <laughs> Said friend... I don't know. He had a lot of problems with his swan apparently that day because, like, he was a comic book artist and he took two drawing comics in which he would, like, he made this superhero that destroyed swans by, like, breaking their necks and all this sort of shit. It was, it was insane. Was and to see this man, swans. he was, like, a pretty buff dude. He was a pretty strong dude. He was, like, into martial arts and a weightlifter and all that sort of shit. But for some reason, all of his hatred and impetus was driven at eradicating swans and he really did hate them it, it's true yeah, i haven't talked to him in a while but here's to you justin and may you kill all the swans you desire i know that's horrible don't come after me Peta. <laughs> but anyways they're jerks it's not my fault uh, well all uh, right i'm gonna take a hallway okay and i'm gonna put it there okay and take a yellow swan excellent Cool. And, yep. and 
update your hallways. Beautiful. Yeah. My turn? Yep. Okay. So I think I'm going to take the storage room, place it right here. So that is actually going to be my first utility room. Where the hell is it? There we go. Okay, so I'm actually going to finish two rooms here. We're going to start with the storage room. So that's just going to give me a points bonus at end game for downstairs rooms. I'm a fucking genius. I have won the game. <laughs> game over, man. And then that's going to complete the train room, which is going to give me seven points for that tile at end game. So that means I have completed two rooms. Now I'm going to have. Holy shit, that's a really good idea. Let me place my modes and then I'll tell you what that dude said in chat. Um, so now I get to place my moats. I'm going to put the first one there. So following the rules, you kind of have to go around the outline of what's currently laid down. You can go diagonally. and I'm going to block you off. So I have blocked your room. Poopy Fatty says, protect yourself from PETA with attack dogs. Well, we do have a Rottweiler who has finally become full grown. So Almost. Yeah, she's getting there. You 15 at, months. Yeah, yeah. Right at? Yeah. Yeah. Are you know. Yeah. You can see her in the Fallout video. I think she's been in a couple other videos, but that's our puppy yeah. that Rachel's walking away from the camera with and in uh, the Fallout video. And her name is Lupa, which if you know anything about Fallout New Vegas, you might know why she's called Lupa. Or the beginnings of Rome. Yeah, that too. All right. So I think we're just going to update here. <sighs> Having successfully flooded the fuck out of your hallway. There's your dining room. Joy. <laughs> yeah, we got to get Monster to sponsor our asses. No joke. Not because I particularly like care for what their brand is. I just like their energy drinks. But they are delicious. We're extreme board gamers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, she's a gorgeous little puppy. Like, I, that's the first bigger dog I've owned. I've always liked Roddy's, but I've wanted a bigger dog when we got her, and she has been an absolute joy. She is the smartest dog I have ever trained in my life. Yeah, surprisingly yeah. so. I grew up with Shizus, and I, like, I never had a dog that did anything. <laughs> she can pull me in an office chair. It's awesome. For real. All right, so you Soon placed your... Soon I'm teacher to pull me in a cart. Heck yeah. Royal we'll Body Dog Room is down, and you're uh -huh. going to finish the fencing room. Oh, yeah, go ahead and update that. So that finishes the fencing room. Yeah. Giving you seven points at in-game. Yep. Did you get your green spot? I did not. Okay. And now you may place a moat. Yeah, dude, I, I run through way too many of these drinks. But, like, uh, compared to sodas and stuff, like, you'll notice they're the rehab ones. So they're, like, tea. I, I at least pretend they're healthier for me. I don't know if that's really true. So you have blocked off. Not so much uh, sugar. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the main thing. All right, we now have a food prep room. Okay. So, hmm, I am debating the usefulness of spending my black swans because of the public favor that. Yeah, I'm going to take a chance. This may be really stupid, but I'm going to spend three swans, and I'm actually going to use my black swans. So I guess they just go back in place. You're crazy. I'm crazy. He's a madman. He's crazy in the coconut. I'm going to buy another tile. In this case, I'm going to buy whatever the theater. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to put it into this one. So what this favor does is allows you to, to move at any point during your turn two moat tiles from one side of the moat to the other. You have to start at the end of the moat, basically, like this would be the end here, or this would be the end here. And as I understand it, it activates as soon as you put it in. It says at any point during your turn. So uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to take these two moat tiles right here and scoot them over right here. Yeah, last game he got that, <laughs> and it took me a while to get one myself. Mm -hmm. 
I suggest you get one as soon as humanly possible. Yeah, that, that the one thing that I'm going to say in my review is that power right there, as far as I can tell, like I'd say, I'd like to play some more games, but that power right there is fucking OP, OP, dude. Like, you will see why. I'm going to be able to block off a lot of her rams. You know I have spent some of them swans, girl. Your turn. Yeah, I do. Got to go ahead and buy it. I'm going to go ahead and do it. <laughs> It's just... It's really necessary. It's one of those abilities where if one player has it, all players have yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. No, otherwise you're just screwed. I can't see any way around it. Not yet, yeah, at least. Actually, oh. Yeah. There you go. I'll slide down. I did that backwards. That's okay. No worries. There we go. Thank you. Cool. Do you want to move tiles on your turn? Oh. Move yeah. tiles. Yeah, you can. Yeah. And they come right back in place. Yay. Beautiful. Okay. So, my turn? Yes. What do you know? <laughs> <laughs> I am personally shocked. <laughs> At the start of my turn. I'm going to go ahead and shift those fuckers over there. And let's see. We get the porcelain room. Actually, I think I am. It says dining, but I f it sounds more like it's full of toilets. Uh, I'm just saying. It's like dishes and stuff. That actually, I'll tell y'all a cool story about porcelain in a minute. Well, sort of cool. I'm going to place that right there. So that's going to get me a blue swan. Go ahead and put that there. Update that right there. And that's going to complete this room giving me a swan for any connected color that works. So I'm actually going to get a green swan, a green swan, a blue swan, and a blue swan. Get okay, work that was done, good. son. All right, so my weird story about porcelain. Speaking of the Fallout review. Yeah, blue, blue, green, green. Okay, I got two green, and I need another blue. If you go watch our Fallout review, that whole factory and all the stuff that you see us going through is some distance from our house, about 15 minutes away from here. And it's an old abandoned porcelain works. And if you watch the scene specifically where it looks like Rachel's basically wa like walking through a desert, what that is is about a million broken toilets. And it goes for about a quarter mile and it's probably say 50 yards wide and okay. the entire surface of the ground is nothing but broken toilets broken porcelain sinks and it makes the weirdest noise ever as you walk on it it's it's like musical almost yeah yeah and it will also slice your foot the fuck open if you're not careful we had to wear boots to get back there but it was just like i i went even when they release a expansion for fallout which they probably will it's fantasy flight let's be real we're going to go back there and film some cool shit. So, we shall see. And I like to think at the end of that long, long road, there's uh -huh. a giant toilet glistening yeah, in the sun. Yeah, for real. Yeah, we didn't go to the end of it. Yeah, dude, we do a, a decent amount of urbex, but we, like, I mean, well, I say decent. We do it every once in a while. Yeah. But I do enjoy it. I love photography and videography, obviously. So, I have moved my moats. I've completed my rooms. And, yeah. It's going to be your turn. Oh, yeah. You didn't put down your modes, though. For no, I didn't for completing room. it. You're correct. The one. Thank you. Yeah, I one. appreciate you keeping it. Yeah. I appreciate you Get excited. You track of me. Blacking my stuff off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we go. And you are up. The Hi. freezer. The cooler. The cooler. All right. So, first things first. Howdy. Well, whatever. I completely know you I got what you play. wanted yeah, out of exactly. it. Exactly. Jerk. Did I do two or I did one? You did two. Because there were not over there. Um. Yeah, we really didn't, like, I have a lot more footage from that place than we were able to put in the Fallout review. And there's some other cool rooms. Basically, I didn't want to, like, blow my fucking load on the whole of the building. 
because I, I had the idea that I may need to keep some of the locations there for later shots. So at some point we'll get some more of the footage in there and we're going to probably go back and visit it and stuff. There's a couple of other cool places yeah. we've seen that we want to try out. Yeah. I get a green one. Cool. Did you update your board? Nope. All right. Did that a green one? Did that? Did that? Nothing's you finished. Good? I'm good. Cool. So do the rings. All right. So looking at my board. Have we had any sleeping rooms come up? Okay, there's one. one. The grand bedroom. Hmm. Well, anywhere I connect, well, okay, I could connect that there and not completely screw myself. I'm gonna have to, to at least try. I'm gonna place the grand bedroom right down here. Get away. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to be moving two tiles in a minute, too. And let's see, that updates my sleeping room. So I have now placed at least one of all different types of tiles, <laughs> and that's going to give me 10 points at the end. All right, and don't think anything else happens. I think I'm good. All right. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Cool. Uh, the costume, Rachel's Vault Dweller costume was something we bought off Amazon, but then we altered it. Like, because if you just wear it off Amazon, it looks like a jumpsuit made for somebody who weighs about 300 pounds. Um, so, you it's know, strange. we had it altered and stuff. I am lucky in the sense that my sister, I won't shout her name out because I'm not sure she wants me to or not, but she at least used to be. She's a fashion designer now. But she was fairly popular in the cosplay world. She won a bunch of award at, awards at major cons and stuff like that. So she has passed on some of the knowledge of how to do costuming and stuff. Like I made the motorcycle jacket with the license plates and stuff. We threw together Ariel's costume from a number of things. But... I got lucky in that my sister has done a lot of cosplay and kind of taught me some of the tricks of the trade. All right. The food prep. Right next to the dining room. How appropriate. Yeah, it's, it's thematic. It's feng shui. So that's going to... Did you update your board? No. Where'd he go? There it is. Yeah, there you go. And <clears> then <throat> you're going to complete the dining room. Hold on. Since I got okay. three, I get a gold one. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Now so we'll you... complete the dining room. So that's going to get you your choice of a favorite tile, if you so choose. Thank you. Mm, I'm good. Not feeling any of them? No. All right. Oh, I forgot to move moats on my last turn. Oh, well. My bad. I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> and now, since you completed a room, you're going to play some moat top. Oh, yeah. Flooding out the basement. All right. You good? Mm-hmm. Cool. Oh, yeah. Let's update the rooms. Almost done with that second stack. Just need slightly longer arms. I know. Yeah. It's like I said earlier, It's it's kind of a... You got to play a bit of mental gymnastics to figure out where to put this board so that everybody can reach it. I, I like the idea of the moat being part of the board and thus, you know, extending from there, but I wish they had designed it a little more efficiently. I just wish I was Inspector Gadget. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I'm gonna have take, a helicopter come out of my hat. No joke. I'm going to take the sewing room. Place that right there. So, I'm going to update this, gaining me a green swan for having placed the third one. And that's going to complete the grand bedroom. Now that being a sleeping room, that's the one, if you remember an earlier game, I took a tile without spending swans, but then we corrected it. Um, oh wait, that's the same. Okay, cool. I get to now take one of my choice 
to place into my board if I want to. And I'm actually going to do that. Looking at the options, I don't really want to spend an extra spawn. So, actually, I'm going to take the freezer just to prevent you from locking that room down like that. And I'm going to lock it into this slot diagonally, which gives me a further one swan reduction in swan costs. Bop, for wow. those. So basically, I can take any of them for free now. Now, I did complete a room. We had the armory. Fuck yeah. And the fungus room. Yay, fungus room. <laughs> And I get to place a mode. Before I place this mode, it says at any time during your turn. So. You do it. You have to fill inlets first, basically. And then I'm going to place this mode right here. Oh, yeah. So you may be asking yourself, when the hell does the game end? The game ends when the moat becomes completely connected around the room tiles. Once the two ends of the moat meet, the game is over. And then get ready for some algebraic shit as we figure out scoring. Nah, it's not that bad. All right. Gonna move some mates. Yep, yep. All right. Then I'm gonna take the nine pin alley and I'm gonna place it there. Okay. So update your loot rooms. Oh, I get a green. Yes, you do. Oh, I have a stash of green. You're also going to get a red one for the room connection. You're right. Oh, I still have to get out of here. All right. And then you have completed the food prep room. So that's going to give you a choice of favorites. It's important to have a modern fungus room in any house. <laughs> I mean, it is 28 fucking 18 after all. Yeah. Anything look appealing to you? Not really. Tell me what the last... That one gives is. you three swans of your choice at the end of the game. Basically, before scoring, you get to just take three swans from the supply that you want. So, as I noted earlier, at endgame, you get extra points for collecting sets of swans. Basically, like, for instance, there are five different color swans. If you have a set of five different color swans, that's going to be worth ten points. So, getting swans at endgame can be really useful to round out the areas you're missing in sets you have. I'm good. Okay. I'm not getting great choices this time. It happens, it happens. Did you place your moat? I did not. Okay. Boot room. A room specifically for boots. Yes. It's important. All right. Royal boots. Royal boots, indeed. Indeed. Okay, so looking at what's... Oh, no, you know what? I haven't placed all of them. What I'm lacking is a hallway. So I think I'm going to grab a hallway. And unfortunately, I can't really make... Well, yeah. Okay, that would work. Screw it. I'm going to put... Well, that would finish it for you, though, and I don't want to do that. I don't know. Is it worth it? That's going to give you... Oh, that would give you three swans. Yeah, I think I'm going to hold off there. I'm going to place this hallway right here. Unfortunately, there is no color connection that really works there. Hmm. Do I want to do this after all? I may change my mind on this. I have to admit, I'm not really feeling it. Nope, I have a better choice. I'm going to take the boot room and place it right here. Locking off your connection. That's free for me. Thank you. Thanks to my two swan reductions. Sounds <laughs> <That's> delicious. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Okay, so let's see what all that does. I need to update my utility rooms. Cool. 
So that's going to complete that utility room, giving me a bonus of three points at endgame for every favor tile I have in my board. Secondly, that completes a room, giving me, oh wait, wrong thing, I'm so sorry, that's the discard pile anyways, giving me a moat. I'm also going to shift to this turn. Put one there, put one there, and put one there. All right. I'm good. All right. Well, oh. Oh, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Second so, antechamber. The moat shifting begins again. I gotta say, I dig this game. Like I said, it's I'm not the biggest fan of these, for lack of a better term, themeless. I mean, it's not entirely themeless, but let's be real, it's themeless. Um, games like this. And Al Spotch is a really good designer of them. I appreciate what he does even if his games aren't my type. I can see that this game is a really good game for a certain type of gamer. Mainly speaking, my wife right here. She loves this sort of stuff. And I, I do have to say it reaches across the aisle to the guys and girls who like you know, more of your Amerithrash stuff in some ways. Like there's enough going on here that it is an entertaining I really do enjoy it. Strange enough, you may be wondering why I like Carcassonne so much if I don't like stuff like this. It's not that I dislike stuff like this. Carcassonne for me, I guess it's more of just nostalgia, man. It was one of the first we played, and since I've spent so much time learning it, because it was one of the first we played, I've just grown to love it. And I think I could grow to love this game, or at least like it a lot. I do enjoy it. I, I, I think it's a good game. What you got going on, baby? I'm going to put the soul out there. All right, cool. Update your board. And sadly, don't get a swan. Denied. So is that all going on? Did you want to shift any moats this turn? I already did. You did? Oh, yes, you did. Beautiful. Okay. Getting close to the end of the second pile, which is when the game really ramps up. Oh, we'll dear. We'll see. Put on your running shoes. Oh, those creepy ass videos. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. We are back and you are back. If you know what she's talking about, right and I. Hmm. What are my options here? Well, not the biggest fan of all my options, but screw it. Let's go ahead and get the flute room. I'm actually going to place it right there. All right, that's going to get me a red swan because of the connection from a gray to red. That right there, update that again. That's going to complete the sewing room, giving me another seven points at end game, which means now I can place a moat and I can also shift two. So I'm going to shift two. All right, I am good. Uh, as far as depth complexity, yeah, you're right. Carcassonne is a much easier game to teach, especially the base game. Um, this kind of reminds me, if you've played with the expansion, The City, it's kind of like that. You know, the walls from the city, it's it, like the mode in this game has that. This is a much a gamer's game compared to Carcassonne. I feel like I could probably, like I've taught Carcassonne to people who that's the first or second board game they've played. And as long as we're using the base set or maybe, you know, like rivers and like, then they get it. This game is a little bit more than that. I, I would, if I was teaching somebody who was relatively new to this sort of thing, I would start with Carcassonne and then graduate to this. This is like Carcassonne for gamers, but different than Carcassonne too. I don't really want to fall into the trap of just calling it Carcassonne because it's no, not. It's just got a little bit of that feel. Yeah. It's kind of that same idea. The tile thing. But so much more. Yeah, absolutely. It is a very different game than Carcassonne. I think. And, and 
But if you like one, I think you'd like the other. Yeah, no, I, I can agree on that. If you do like one, you you would probably like the other. I do. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, fair enough. All right, so having placed that, did you have to say... No, I literally just put it down. Okay, my bad. Um, okay, so I get a swan of my choice. Correct. And I want... Okay. And... Update my room. Oh, so I get another one. And then that completes that room. Yes, it does. Which gives me the secret swan. Yes, a black yep. swan. All right. And now you can place modes. Did you shift any this turn? I don't believe you. No, did. I didn't. Okay. I got overexcited. You want to shift first? And then uh, I place one. No, two. Oh yes, yeah. We up. have we have opened up to the next spot, so now you're gonna place two. This is where the game's really gonna start picking up. Um, the other thing I'd say about the depth of this game and the difference from Carcassonne, Carcassonne, it's a little bit of different of beast because it depends on how many expansions you're putting into it and how deep that game's gonna be. But generally speaking, base game Carcassonne. What are your scoring opportunities? You know, your different tiles, your roads, your farmers, but you really only have one in two end game scoring opportunities the cloisters and then your farms, right? This game, on the other hand, you know, you're scoring updates throughout Carcassonne as you play. All the scoring in this game is done at end game, and there's far too much to keep track of to know what your opponent is working on in every aspect. You can glean some general ideas. But in Carcassonne, if your opponent's fucking with you, you're going to see it up front. Or if they're pursuing a certain goal, you know, they want to get the, the biggest roads or something like that, you're going to see it. This game, it's obfuscated through a level of various scoring opportunities. All Which right. is kind of cool. It's like, yeah, what no, do you have no. over there? What and are you hence, trying to do? And hence, I think it's more of a gamer's game in that sense. All right, looking at my choices... I think I'm going to grab some stairs and go ahead and walk on up here. Thus completing... Oh yeah, I need to put down my own. Update my stairs. And then I have completed the wine cellar, gaining me a black swan. Cool. And then I can move two moats and place two moats. And place two more. Ho oh, ho! Blocking all things rooms. So that's a good example of how moats can be used defensively, and, and basically that's their point. I have blocked off the other entrances to these. Now obviously she has the ability to shift it back. And if you remember earlier, we were talking about if one player has the ability to shift moats from one side of the moat to the other, everybody needs it. Because imagine how one side of this game would be if Rachel didn't have that ability to try to remove those. I have just blocked off two rooms completely from her completing them. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, sweetheart, you're up. Good. Yep. <laughs> point in case. Okay. Or case in point, whatever the saying is. I don't know. Just in case? Yeah, whatever. Poke someone named Justin in the eye? Yep. Cool. With a swan. <laughs> With a swan. <laughs> One cool aspect of this game is I have not seen the same room tile twice. There are, uh, I don't know exactly how many, but a shit ton of room tiles, and every one is individual. And I guess in that sense... There is a thematic connect, because if you know much about Mad King Ludwig, he was famous for building castles that were labyrinthine, or palaces, pardon me, that were labyrinthine and had hundreds upon hundreds of rooms. You've actually visited a couple yeah, of Yeah, I went to Neuenschwanstein, yeah. and then I went to his dad's castle, and then into one of his other palaces that I cannot say the name of for the life yeah. of me, so... But he's got a dining room that 
he didn't like to see people. So he was reclusive, very yeah, loud. very, was. very. And so the table would be lowered into the kitchen. Yeah. The staff would set it, and then it would be raised back up. So he never had to see anybody. It was basically like on a pulley system. And the yeah. kitchen was underneath the dining room. Yeah. <laughs> I want that shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Hall of Great Mirrors. Beautiful. Okay. The right so way. Update your so board. And you're and gonna I get, get a yellow sword. Yellow. And that is a fireplace one. So I get a purple. Cool. For having placed three. Mm-hmm. And then that's gonna complete the nine pen alley. Did you want to shift any modes before you do that? It's gonna give you seven points at in-game. Oh yeah. Yeah, I totally do. Okay. okay. Cool. And then you may place two more. Finally starting to block me off. Took a while. Yeah, for all, for all. That was well built. You suck. <laughs> that was really well done. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. You good? Yes. Okay. Well, at the start of my turn, I'm going to go ahead and shift these back over here. <laughs> Thank you. Updating those. The cheese room. The cheese room. And I'm actually going to grab a hallway and place it. And I'm going to put it right there. And I think that's that for me this turn. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I too am going to take a hallway. Okay. I'll scoot this down a little bit if you need some space. Bezier Games, the company that makes this, actually sent us over three different games to review. They sent us Suburbia, which I do want to do a review on, but I mean, it's an older game. So I'm trying to think about a good way to review a game that's been out for a while and already appreciated for it. And I have some ideas on that. They also sent us one called Colony, which is kind of a world builder post-apocalypse but like way not post-apocalypse like fallout but more so like uh, technological advancement very sci-fi and really i've only looked at the product page for it i don't know that much about it but we're going to be checking that out next probably this one will be our next review i'm working on it as we speak so what'd you do place your hallway yeah cool um, that complete uh, room? yeah beautiful so that's going to give that. you yeah, you can take a room. It's a sleeping room. And I'm going to put it... I don't think you updated your hallways, by the way. I see two. You're right. I did not. Cool. I'm going to put it in the 10-point bonus. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to give you 10 points at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. Did you want to shift any moats before you place two moats? Blocking my hallway off. All right. Beautiful. All right. So we've started encircling the game board. Okay. I think that's it, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Nice move, man. Nice move. All right. Well, beginning my turn, I'm going to go ahead and shift these back over here. That's one thing. It's not that I hate on that, but, like, I'm not the biggest fan of things that you have to do to win. And I, how do I explain this? Maybe that's best left for something in the review. But the basic idea is, like, like I said, it becomes necessary. And then it just feels like it's tacked on. You know, it's like, okay, well, now we start every turn by shifting modes. And I don't know. I, I have some things I want to say about that in the review to some degree. Um, I think that I am going to grab, yeah, I'm going to grab the anteroom. And I'm going to place it right there. Oh, for God's sake, if you find we've been doing the boats wrong, I'm quitting. <laughs> no, I'm no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. All right, claim the anteroom. That's going to update that status. And I get a green swan for the connection. 
We've not gotten to play it with more than two people. Yeah, that's I am very funny. curious what it would be like. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you know what? With three people or four people, which I think it's a max four, uh, that would actually be a good mechanic in that case because uh-huh. then you'd have to carefully choose. It's not that the base game takes over the mechanic or anything like that. It's just it becomes like this thing. It's like you're going to do it every turn at this point. So why even make it an ability? Why not just include it in the game? Did you do all your things? I wasn't paying attention. No, quite all right. Um, yes, I could shift some moats, and I think I will. That's the only thing I need to do. Yeah, see? See, he doesn't like it, but he's going to do it. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm not dumb. <laughs> <laughs> like, I still want to win. And no, I didn't complete any rooms or anything, so I am good. And let's replace that. And you're good to go. I do like when it's going along. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you've blocked something off of mine, uh, but I can slide it over real quick and slip something in. To complete that ram. Or, you know, you've been going back and forth for a while because you just complete one room, mm-hmm. but then if either the other person doesn't complete a room that turn, mm-hmm. or you complete two yeah. and place more tiles, yeah. and you can block them off so bad they can't come back, mm-hmm. and it's too late. Like, oh, there's I, there's a little bit of... Yeah, I want to make clear that my... Go ahead and take your turn. I want to make clear yeah. that, that my problem is not with the moat laying itself. No, that part of the game is fucking awesome. Like, it, it, it takes... For instance, I've talked about this at some length again, and here we go again with Carcassonne, but Carcassonne, after we played it a bunch, it became a meme game, and in a good way. It became a take-that sort of game. And that happened because of our familiarity with the game. This game has that mechanic built in from the start, which is freaking awesome. So what you thinking, Rage? I don't know if I should go upstairs or downstairs. That's my problem. Fair enough, fair enough. A lot of different choices. Ah, oh, I want the fungus room. <laughs> Just All right, mind. yeah. <laughs> All the right. lulls gets it this time. Yeah, no shit. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. I got a new downstairs room. Yes, you did. Um, That's that... going to complete that one. You also get a swan of your choice. Yes. And I want... Okay. And, and I get a secret swan. Correct. Completing that. Did you want to shift any modes before oh, you place yeah. your two? Beautiful. Okay. Blocking off my rooms. Okay, my turn. Cool, let's update these. We have the billiards room. All right, well, as you can guess, they're coming right back over in your direction. All right, looking at what kind of rooms I could use. Yeah, I'm gonna take the guest bedroom. There. Doesn't get me a swan for the connection, but it does complete this room. Oh, you know what? On second thought, yeah, I'm actually going to place it right there. Is that a legal move to block off a downstairs room? Can I do that? Talk amongst yourself for a moment. Entertain our loving, adoring. Yeah, fans. no, I yeah. think you're right. Yeah, I, I vaguely recall I, something. I think it being says you just there. can't. No, you just can't block the last entrance to the upstairs. Yeah, so long as you can always trace a path back to the main hallway, you're good, right? Mm-hmm. Because that's not so. really cutting anything off. Actually, there's no entrances attached. Yeah, so yeah. I think I'm good, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. As long as it's not. Yeah, yeah, we'll play it that way. If we're wrong, we're wrong. But I, I think. I we're swear good. it's right. Okay, cool. We'll go with it. All right. Well, thank you. I know it's to your detriment, but I appreciate you playing it fair. 
and that's going to be a sleeping room. Got to go and update that. Okay, so the hallway cannot be completed right now, but I'm okay with it. And hey, why am I helping you? <laughs> <laughs> I disgust All myself. right, and I think I'm good. I get a yellow. No, I didn't. I did not get a yellow swan for the connection. So that's the one thing I need to do. Grab that. All right, cool. You are up. If I can see any downside of this game is, I was talking to Rachel about this last night. I worry that this game is a going to be a fucking beast for people who are prone to AP analysis paralysis, basically taking too long on their turns trying to see every option because there are a lot of options. Like, like I've mentioned before, when I live stream, I take games a little less seriously than I would if I was playing it like you know, just privately, not publicly. Beautiful place in a cloak room. I'll finish my thought in a minute. Let's take your turn. Okay. Okay. Let's see utility. Yep. It's also going to finish that utility. All utility rooms only have one entrance. So that's going to get you three points per food room at the end of the mm -hmm. game. Go ahead and shift those. Did you get the yellow swan from I placing the top? Okay. Go ahead and grab that. Quite a nice collection going on. I like. I like my swans. And then you can place two moat tiles for completing the room. Very nice. See, you've kind of screwed me with some of my rooms there. All right, you good? Yeah. Cool. Let's update these. So anyways, the thought I had, did I forget it? Analysis paralysis. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, it's not so much that like any analysis paralysis person would lock up with this game. I mean, I mean, it's not really that bad. It's if you have somebody who combines the neutral trait of analysis paralysis with the trait of I've got to win every game I play and I will spend 15 minutes every turn figuring that out, don't play this game with them. Like it, it there's just if you have somebody who wants to sit there and consider every scoring option before they take any move, don't do it. I mean, well, you can. I, I just think it would be a boring, if not painful, experience. <laughs> Speaking of pain, take your moats back. Bah. Yep. Looking at that, hmm, what rooms do I need to try to grab more of? Definitely hallways and definitely the living rooms. Hmm of which I have no choice of either at the moment. That's okay. Let's see here. I guess I'm just going to grab the cheese room. I'm going to connect it right there. So, get the cheese room in my favor. Update my food rooms. That's going to get me a yellow swan. And then that's going to complete the guest bedroom. Beautiful. So that's going to gain me a tile I can lock into my board. I'm going to get it for the 10 points in end game. And then now I can place two modes. What are you scheming over there, woman? Nothing. All right, having placed my mode. All right, bring them back. Oh, forgot to update rooms. My bad. There we go, the night room. I'm gonna take the servants' quarters. Okay, you're about to do some nasty shit, I'm aren't you? I'm gonna place it there. All right, very nice. My key, update my blue. Okay, you get a blue swan. I get a blue swan. You're about to get a lot more than that. Yes, yes I am. So. That's going to complete the Great Hall of Mirrors, and you're going to get a blue swan, a yellow swan, another blue swan, and another yellow swan. Nice move. Thank you. You're also going to get to place two moats. Yeah. <laughs> 
Bless you. Oh, excuse me. All right. Good turn, man. Nice moves. Looking at this. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hall of War. <laughs> oh, dear. You jacked up the castle. But I was unjacking that side. Yeah, it happens. All right, cool. So let's see here. Man, I just cannot seem to get the rooms that I need to get. Well, yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to take the Hall of War. Do I want to move to before I do this? Yes, I do. I don't know that I'll ever be able to complete it, but it's worth a shot. I'm actually going to slide it right there. Oh, no, that would finish your violin ring. Screw that. <laughs> I'm going to put it right there. Claim that room. That's going to update that. And I think I'm good. Okay, you're up. All right, I'm going to take some stairs. And I'm going to put them there. All right. Oh, no. I'm, look, I'm so willing to spite you. I'm getting my <laughs> shit backwards. So that's going to finish. Hold well, on, first hold off. on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold okay. on. Let me think about this for just a second. Music notes. No, okay, I'm going to do that. Okay. So go ahead and own it first and update your stairs. All right. Beautiful. That's going to complete the violin room. So you are going to get seven points at in-game. And now you may place two notes. Why don't you grab me a couple and just put them right there? That would be wise, wouldn't it? Oh, I can put one there. You can, yeah. I think we were supposed to before. I, well, it's kind of weird on the inlet rules. It is. Yeah, you can choose to put it there if you want to. Man, this is what it's come to. All right, my turn? Yes. Excellent. So, looking at my options. Hmm. Well, first things first, I'm going to grab a hallway. I'm going to put it right there, actually. Which may seem like a dumb decision, but I have my reasons. They may not be good reasons, but I have them. <laughs> they are yours. <laughs> I will own them. Uh, nothing's going to update there, but that does update that. Now. So it says take it from the end. Does that mean I have to take the inlet ones? If I want to I wouldn't that? think so. Okay, cool. I'm not sure that's what I want to do. I think I'm actually going to leave it there. It was right there, correct? <laughs> yeah. We're okay, getting to so the point. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're getting to that point. Um, actually, I have a better idea. I'm going to take, oh, well, you can shift them anyways, though. Oh, I see. I'm going to take one and place it right here. Just to be annoying. <laughs> All right. I think I'm good. Get that out of here. Yep. And I'm going to pay a swan okay. to get the mold room. Okay. So that finishes the stairs. Correct. So now you may place two notes. Getting close. You good? Mm-hmm. Beautiful. 
secret layer. All right, I'm going to take this one and shift it right there. Okay. Now, looking at my options. I'm going to take the billiards room, place it right there, gaining me a green swan in the process. Updating that, so I've unlocked 10 extra points at end game. And that's going to complete the flute room, giving me seven more points at the end game, allowing me to place two moats. So, put one right there, and put one right there. You can split sides, you don't have to add them both to the same side. All right. Thank you. Breakfast room. Oh, that's my favorite room. <laughs> the bagel room. Yes, I hope there is a bagel room. That would be heaven. <sighs> decisions, decisions. Getting close to that end game. As you see, the game becomes more and more vicious and more and more restrictive as you get towards the end game. I gotta plug my phone in real quick. By all means, take your turn. Yeah, dude, I, I, Poopy Fatty says one of the cool things about tile layers like this is watching the board game come to life and take shape. And yeah, it's, it, like, I love seeing any tile layer, what it looks like at end game. It's so fun. And Carcassonne, for instance, da da da, da bring it up again. You know, just dude, how cool it looks. The game last night, I took a couple of photos of it to use in the review, the one we finished. It's just such a cool look. All right, placing the night room. So it gets me a swan of my choice. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And it finishes the mold room. Yep, allowing you to place two moves. Come back. All right. One tile away. Is there anything I can do to score points? Hmm. Yeah, I'm never going to get up to three, but I am on two. Okay. Good to know. Oh, yeah, let's update the room. It's getting real close. Um, well, how do you feel about green? Yeah, no joke. <gasps> so how would that work if I were to shift these two? I could shift one there, right? Because that's the end, as it were. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to shift both to do what I was looking to do, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Can you shift ones into, into the there, inlets? or can you, you just know like, what? place them? I don't know. I mean, let me check real quick. It isn't entirely... The moat rolls are... From are one end of the moat to the other at any time during your turn. In addition, if any moat tiles are in a walled-off area, they may be moved to or from these areas instead of just the two ends. Oh, so okay. So to or from. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. So in that case... I did it again, didn't I? What? Helped you in some way. Yeah. Put that there. Put that there. You always have to have one opening before the moats are finished, you know, to try to allow you to place rooms onto something. Still doesn't help me too much, but you know, whatever. I'm gonna get the orchestra room and put it right here. Getting me a red swan in the process. Gotta own it. It's gonna update, okay, so. That is a music room, correct, yeah. 
Let's see. Oh, I should have taken a different move. That's okay. No biggie, no biggie. All right, I think that's it for me. Yeah. Okay. It is your turn. All right. Gets real thinky towards the end game too. You have to look at your possible options. What is a birchta? There is a birchta room. Does anybody know what a birchta is? B e r c t b e r c h t a. Maybe I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't know. He's getting up to some freaky shit with Wagner. <laughs> Always. Yeah. You know what? I'm actually going to take some stairs. Okay. Beautiful. Put them there. Because that gets me a swan of my choice. Correct. All right. You good? Yep. Cool. My turn? Mm-hmm. Beautiful. I'm going to take the dungeons. Mm -hmm. Or the dungeon, pardon me, place it there, which does connect your stairway, or I mean complete your stairway. Yay. Now, does that mean I, I think that means I still place moves. I'll double check the rules in a second. Yeah. I'm fairly didn't we look that right? up last night? Yeah. I still place them? Yeah. Yeah, we did look that up last yeah. night, I recall now. Okay. So, let me grab these two. We are still on two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. You know, I maybe I take back a little bit of what I've said about the shifting. I know that's what you're going to be doing right now, but there are times when you don't want to shift. You know, so let's see. I, I can Do I see. put it there or there? Technically, the end would be right here. Okay. Yeah, because that's it, it's not exactly yeah. the inlet. We could be wrong about that. Dick, sue us if we are. <laughs> Yeah, shut up, haters! It's their second, their second time. Exactly. I'm gonna take the secret layer. Okay. Beautiful. I'm gonna put that there. Okay. So you get a swan up. of your choice. I'll use this one. Yep. All right. Anything else from you? And that finishes yours. Yes, exactly. So I get a black swan. So in that case, Rachel finished a room that I own. I get the reward for it, but she will still place the moats. And we're now actually to the point where she's going to have to place four moats. One, two, three, four. Which, if I believe, is going to end the game, right? Um, two. Yeah. Yep, that's going to be the end of the game. All right. So, All right. again, the end of the game being the moat has now completely encircled the castle. So now we're going to move on to scoring. And I think you have the scoring pad. I don't know what you do there. Oh, I could have sworn I had a pencil over there. Do I not? Oh, I see it. That's on the studio desk. Okay, so the scoring is a little bit convoluted, but we'll go through it. Let's do it. I do like right that it, it's well structured. Yeah, no, well, I mean, you kind of go through it programmatically like a function. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. And all right, so we start with the blueprints board. 10 points if you placed a room tile in the plus 10 slot on your blue parts board. You did? I did. I did. Okay. Cool. 10 points for each row of rooms you completed on your blue parts board. Basically rows. Mm -hmm. So you have one. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's going to be 10 points for you. And I have two. So that's going to be 20 points for me. The sum of points for any columns of rooms you completed on your blue parts board. This is what I was referring to earlier. I have placed... Yeah, so this one updated, I placed six. So I have played, placed at least two of every type. So that's going to give me 10 points for the first column and 20 points for the second, giving me 30 points. Same. Yeah, 30 points. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's going to be Blueprints boards. The score so far is 60 to me and 50 to you. All right, stairs. 
Score three points for each downstairs room any of your completed stairs are connected to. So here's where you kind of just go through the board and scan it. So we'll look at the first stairway. I've got this one. It's going to be one, any downstairs room any of your completed stairs are connected to. So that's a completed stairs. One, two, three, four. So that's going to be 12 points. Right there. Now let's see the next stairway. There's your completed one. So you're going to get 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Correct? Yeah. Those are all That's good. technically two different yeah, stairways. But, but yeah. I don't think it doubles up. I don't know. I no, because they're not. There's no passageway between them. Good point. Good point. Okay, so 18 points there. Are there any stairs anywhere else? Yeah, down here, that's a completed stairs, and you have two rooms on that, so that's going to get you six points. So you're going to get 24 points there. I'm going to get 12. All right, utility rooms. Based on the black bubbles on the utility room tiles you own, score three points for whatever is on the utility room tile. So I know that I have placed two. And Same. You, okay, so we can track them down. They're going to be the orange colors. Da, 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 da. They're next to each other. There we bit. go. Yeah, okay. So there's yours. You're going to get three points per purple swan. My laundry room. Nice. You have One, what, two, seven? three, four, five, six, seven. So that's going to be 21 points. Okay. I get three points for each downstairs room I have. Well, I know looking at my blueprints board, that's going to be because it's for completed. It's, or I mean placed, pardon me. Yeah, each room you own. So owning it just means you don't have to complete it. I've got one, two, three, four, five. So that's going to be 15 points for me. Um, no utilities there. There's one that I own. Three points per favor on my board. I have one, so that's going to be three points. None there. Mine's down in that corner. And that's the last one, correct? Mm -hmm. Three points per food room. So you have three food rooms placed? That's going to be nine. So I got 18 points there. You got 30. All right. Activity rooms. Score seven points for each of your completed activity rooms. So you actually have to go through and see which ones are completed. So we'll start with me if that's cool with you. Mm -hmm. There's one. Activity rooms being what I've been calling music rooms. One. Is that it? One. Two. Two. Yeah, that's it, right? No, no, no. I was looking at it wrong. I'm sorry. Let me start back over. One. There's two. There's three. So yeah. three. 21 points. Okay, let's look for you. So, that one's me. There's one for you. There's two for you. Three. three. That's all I've got. That's it? Mm -hmm. Okay. 21 points for you. All right. So now we move on to swan sets. So basically there are five colors of swans, and you get more points for collecting a set of five, less points for a set of four, blah, 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 blah. So. Now we get to know what our secret swans yeah, are. Precisely. Come on, purple. Damn it. Okay, so how many sets of five do you have, Rachel? Three. Three sets? No shit. So that's going to be 30 points. How many sets of four do you have? One. So that's going to be seven points. How many sets of three do you have? Two. So that's going to be eight points on top of that. How many sets of two? None. Okay. And two singles. Okay, so that's going to be 45, 47 points off of swans for you. I have not shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> you got a lot of green yeah, ones. Yeah, I got a lot of green ones. So I have two sets of four. That's going to be 14 points. And then I have one, two, three, four, five green ones. So that's just an extra five points. Ooh, you cleaned up there. 19 for me, 47 for you. And finally, we go through the favors. So you start with the public, then the private favors. So first off, who has the least amount of 
The little fire ants. The I've got ants. three. I've got two, so that's going to be 15 points for me. Okay. I think I have the most purple swans. I think you do, so that's going to be 10 points for you. Who's got the most anvil rooms? I've got two. I've got two. So we're tied there. No big deal. And finally, who has the least amount of black swans? I have two. I have four. Okay, so I've got 15 points there. Clearing up a little bit on the favors. And my favor is going to be the most amount of favors on your board. I only actually have one, so I'm tied with you. No big deal. Yeah. yeah. And yours? mine's most blue swans. Most blue swans. I think you're going to win that one, so you get an extra 10 points. I beat you in a category. Holy shit. Okay, so Rach, if you want to talk about what you like about the game, what you don't like about the game, I'm going to add up the scores and reveal them real quick. Oh, see, now I don't easier. know what to say. That's why I don't do the other videos. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what do you think about yeah, the art so, style? It's so far, I, I really do like it. The art style is cute. It's fine. It's good. Like, it's very, it's, the only, it's easy to look at, except for s if you don't have all your lights on, the colors can be a little difficult. Um, I, I would say that some of the text is a little small. Uh, the the room connections, the swans on the room connection, I last night, like, right now, we're sitting under... Full studio lights. It may not look super bright to you, but it is fucking surface of the sun in here to us. Yeah. And last night we were just using basically some overhead track lighting that I normally use when we play games. And I was having a little bit of trouble distinguishing some of the colors. And I have pretty good eyesight and never had any problems with color for the most part. So take that for what you may. And I'm blind as a bat far away. Yeah, no shit. Hey. So, but... Like I, I like the puzzle games. I like the city building games. Mm -hmm. So uh, this sort of thing is a l little more my style. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. Drum roll, please. All right. Forrest coming in, yours truly, with 160 points. Rachel coming in with a total of 192. Woo! The swans won you the game. Good game. Yay, swans. As I predicted, Rachel kicked my ass, but I still had a great time playing this game. It is a fun game. Uh, you know, again, as I live stream, I don't take them as, I don't try to be as thoughtful about them as I would because I'm monitoring chat, I'm watching up there, you know, blah, 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 blah. I'm a little distracted. But I have to say, the more I've played the game, again, this is our third game, the more I've liked it. I really do see the depth in it, and I really do enjoy that. Like, games where you can... You have multiple paths to victory, and what you're doing on your path to victory is not readily apparent to other players unless you're being absolutely overt about it. You really like it, yeah. from what you've said. Yeah, so I really do dig it. Um, currently working on the review. I'm waiting some art assets from Bezier to try to make a better intro. We'll see what happens with them. Hopefully they can send some stuff my way. Um, but I think at this point I can at least start scripting it. I'd like to play probably one more time, maybe twice, to really get the feel for it. I'd like to try to get a game with a couple of other people, but yeah, it is what it is. We mainly do two-player stuff because that's the way it goes. But uh, yeah, I really appreciate everybody tuning in. I hope you've had a wonderful night, a wonderful day, and thanks so much for watching. We do have a lot of content coming up. I know we kind of had a lull in content. Um Oh, shit. Birchta is a Germanic deity, a, fer a fertility goddess. Thank you very much appreciate for letting us know, it. man. Appreciate it. I learned something tonight. Besides how to get my know. ass kicked by my wife in a Euro game. But, uh, yeah, I know that we were kind of lagging on content for a little bit there. Rachel got the flu. I got the flu. We had a bunch of family stuff going on. Yeah. I have been working on a ton of videos. And something even a little more special than that. We've had people asking us, you know... Do you do Twitch stuff? Well, without teasing too much, just let me let you know we're working on something for streaming besides the YouTube stuff. So just keep posted. We have some cool shit coming your way and some really big videos coming your way. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hope you all have a wonderful night. Hey, guys.